everyone, this is my 2024 Run Disneyland half marathon experience. So in this video, I kind of have different clips all throughout like the expo and the race. The only thing I wish is that I recorded a little bit more. Um, the expo was interesting. I felt like there wasn't a lot of vendors. The space was kind of small, so it was really crowded in there. So I didn't really film in there a whole lot. I did film because they had it in separate areas. So like we had like the top floor where we got our bib and then we had to go downstairs and that's where we got our shirt. And then there was like little photo op areas and stuff, but I didn't really like the expo. I've been to better expos. I really thought with it being Disney and as popular as Disney races is, I was expecting something like rock and roll San Diego level or like Chicago marathon level. A little disappointed in the expo um and i didn't know like the whole virtual queue thing on the first day being a thing like there's just a lot that i didn't know personally but anyways this is like my whole experience let's go to the run disneyland expo i, I couldn't think <laughs> let's do this <laughs> So I can show you guys. Uh, obviously, we have a bib. So I need to fill out the back information there. And then this shirt. Okay. I don't like gray. I'm not going to lie. Um, But it's not bad. Not bad at all. It's just I don't like gray. I don't like gray. <laughs> all right. I got checked into my hotel. I decided to save the Best Western, which is about a 10 minute drive from Disneyland. I got a pretty decent sized room. I think I paid like 150 for one night. And I mean, there's plenty of space all through here. But 2 a.m. it's early in the morning, so good night guys. So it's 2.30 in the morning, getting up and getting ready to be able to be my friend downstairs here in like an hour. I'm so tired. <sighs> I'm over here like, why? Why do I do this to myself? Like, that's how I feel right now. But I wanted to get up to allow myself to be able to eat a little something. For me, that's going to be Fig Bar. This was what works for me before runs. I don't like to run fasted, especially for a half marathon. So I'm gonna eat one of these now. I think I'm gonna carry another one with me just to be able to eat again because the race doesn't start till five. But we wanted to kind of give ourselves time to get over there, get parked and get through security. It's also kind of chilly this morning too. Oh man, I'm so tired guys, I'm so tired. Fit wise, this is what I'm wearing. So while I was at the expo, Sparkle Athletic could actually message me on Instagram and was like, hey, stop by, we want to gift you something. So they actually gifted me this visor as well as this skirt. And then I have the race Shiri shirt from the American Cancer Society. Since I raised money for my mom, kind of gotta wear this. Um, it's chilly. So I'm going to wear leggings. I was going to wear my black ones, but I haven't done laundry since I got back from North Carolina. As far as shoes, doing the Nike Infinity Run 4. So, yeah. And I knew this wasn't going to be like a PR race for me. A lot of people are like, oh, are you going to go for it? Baby, I've been, it's been a rough couple of weeks. I'm just happy to be out there. <laughs> um, and then we have the spy belt, the spy belt. It has two pockets, so this pocket's probably going to hold, like, my camera that I'm holding right now. And then we also have, like, my chews and gels and stuff like that here. So, 
I just realized I haven't put my bib on yet, but I just kind of wanted to show the fit. Yeah. I made it to the corrals, and I'm definitely regretting my After doing the Disneyland half marathon I will say the first half of it is in Disney and the second half is pretty much running around Anaheim which isn't bad we got to see a couple different stadiums we got to see the hockey stadium and we also got to see the Angel Stadium so if you're somebody that's coming from out of town it's definitely cool to see I live about an hour and a half away from Disneyland so these are places that I kind of see when I drive up to this area I stayed at Best Western in Anaheim. That was about a 10 minute drive. I paid 150 for my room and I had a pretty spacious room. I did not stay at the Disney property, but I will say it didn't take me too long to get to, I wrote friends, but it didn't take us too long to get from the hotel to the Disney property. We had to park at the Mickey and Friends parking, which I feel like is probably like the back parking lot. It's more closer to California Adventure. I will say that I, loved the first half of that race and in the future if i do a disney race i definitely want to check out the walt disney world races because a few people in the course were like you have to check out a walt disney world race like this is nothing compared to that so that's something i will definitely do in the future hopefully run disney races are very expensive <laughs> so um i'm just really grateful that i was able to raise the money that i could in memory of my mom um showing up during this time has been hard and I'm so proud of myself and I could feel my mom's presence with me but even my uncle his nickname was wizard and at the end of the race when I was really just kind of like over it a couple people passed me that were dressed up as like the Mickey wizards and I was like yeah my uncle's out here he's out here and I know he's proud of me and I miss him so much so sorry this isn't really a detailed um video if that's what you're looking for this is just kind of like through my eyes through my lens and i like i said i didn't record everything i wish i recorded more um but if you have questions i'll try my best to answer them as far as the corrals it went from a all the way to g i know other races they probably go all the way to q but for us it was g i was in f corral um so i felt like i was pretty close to the balloon ladies all throughout but thankfully the balloon ladies did not catch up to me the balloon ladies are pretty much the last pacers you don't want those pacers to get in front of you because if you do you're going to get swept off the course um and they hold a 16 minute average mile so that's just something to keep in mind if you decide to do the disneyland races and make sure that you're training up for that 16 minute mile minimum um i would say even go faster than that if you can but overall that was my first run disney race and i will see you guys next video where i am sharing all about my recovery thanks for watching and see you soon